Hi friends, happy to meet you again in our YouTube channel, Bartha Arts. Today we're going to see a tutorial of a caricature art of um, the famous professor character uh, from the Money Heist Netflix series. I love this series a lot. Uh, let's uh, check how to draw this. So as usual, uh, there will be some uh, rough sketch we need to do. Um, the head with a circle. Then for the eyes, the half of it, and then half of it for the nose, and then half of it for the uh, the, the hair hair lines. So here I made a time lapse so that you can see it uh, really quick uh, because it was a long video. And once I've drawn the base, I've uh, used the opacity control to reduce it so it's only mildly visible. People who are trying to draw through papers. Uh, you can use uh, first uh, a pencil with light, lead, uh, thick, uh, darkness, and then you can use a marker or something to make the outline as I'm showing you right now. So I start with the hair here. I've just taken the a similar kind of hair there, a little cartoonized. It's up to you to decide how you want to keep the shapes of the face or every, every structure is there. This time I've taken uh, kind of most of the combination of circles and ovals. So for the uh, glasses, I initially took uh, high level uh, boundaries and uh, then I was trying to think of uh, removing the unwanted areas by areas option. So whatever you see here is just a rough shape. I'm trying to bring it here. So I often do some mistakes on wrong strokes, the, the lines which I draw there. So instead of doing it first, perfect the first time, sometimes I just go move ahead because few drawings, uh, when it is like digital, exactly one is two and you have to draw, then you have to follow each and every step for perfectly. But when it is like uh, caricatures where you have to use your imagination, I just keep drawing whatever that comes in mind or whatever my hand takes to show the profiles. And then I uh, remove whatever is unnecessary. In this case, class, I just took a boundary, like a thick boundary of how the class shape can come. And then I try to remove some of the extra lines and uh, keep looking at uh, from the big picture perspective and see whether it is okay to this is good to my eyes, then I stop there. So in this case, I was trying to make the goggles, um, or the glasses, uh, a rim or bezels a little thinner as possible, as much as possible. So it, since it's caricature art, it need not to be a smooth flow. The more a smooth flow, it'll definitely going to look good. But um, keep keep improvising on it. Now starting with the eyebrows. That's a little tricky one. It should be uh, equal in thickness. And uh, if you see there um, on the left side image, it's kind of a little upward, like a, the eyebrows going up, and then flowing down. But here I made it a little down because here I am, I'm trying to show him a little sad, sad face. So I'm keeping it lower there. So I took some inspiration from the Pinterest there are some similar kind of drawings there. So I took some inspiration from that and this, and then is what you see here as the final art here. So as I mentioned earlier, except the, uh, the uh, hair lines, uh, most of them are combinations of circles or ovals. So guys, uh, if you're watching this for the first time, um, I would advise you, if you like this video, I would advise you to click on the subscribe button and also the bell icon so that whenever the next video is uploaded, you will get a notification immediately. And if you want to learn something specific, do let me know on the comment section so that um, I can take those inputs and then draw for you. I'm also planning for a giveaway soon which means uh, a free digital art. Uh, watch out for the space. Somebody wants free digital art for you or your, for, for your friends or for your 
loved people um, i will be posting a giveaway a free digital art for them and um, you can check you can be you can follow me in the instagram closely to get those informations now moving on to the body the collars the tie there are multiple ways to show, uh, draw a body uh, so here i'm trying to take very simple profiles very very simple curves so the right side hand i, I think i drew a little top you know, the distance length of the arms were a little uneven so i just erased it and draw it, drew it again so I feel it's okay to make mistakes and learn from that. That's how I do it. So I make a lot of errors sometimes, and then I keep doing it again and again. And every drawing you finish, you will learn something new. So in this case, how to keep the ink borders, the ink borders uh, smoother? I learned it after this. So there is a streamline option in the Procreate, where the more you increase the streamline, the more the curves are going to be very smooth. So here you may not see it very smooth, but uh, since it's a caricature, it is your own free thoughts and some places you don't need a smooth curves. So, so to start the beard, I just made a simple strips, drawing it in a different layer so you can erase some of the unwanted lines and then you can bring it back. As much as possible, try to keep things in different layers because when you want to go back and edit something, something looks not good, you can always uh, go back and modify separately those layers. But when it comes to coloring, you have to uh, draw those lines completely in a close line, as I mentioned in my earlier videos also. Only then you, should, you will be able to keep the colors uniform there. And then when you drop the colors, it will immediately color automatically. And any of you guys are going to draw this, uh, you can definitely post this in your on Instagram and do tag me. So I will personally check your account profile, your uh, art. I can give my feedbacks on how it is, what could be improved. Or if I find something really good from you, then I learn from you. It's a learning culture, no? We, I learn, you learn, everybody learns, and whatever the best we bring it out, it's gonna bring some happiness to others. Choosing colors, yeah, there are multiple ways. This time I just took it from the palette, my own imagination colors. The other way is you can choose from the image, so I didn't do that this time, I just picked it on my own what could be the best color is just what I thought would be better for him. So what I use here is an iPad Pro first gen, Apple Pencil first gen and I am drawing it using the Procreate app. So once the background rough sketch is done, then the inking is done, then the coloring is done, the most important next is the shadows and the highlights. So I'm starting with the shadows first. So think of from which side the light is going to come. It's again up to your imagination. And then start giving the shadows on the other side. So in this case, I, I just assume myself that light is going to come from the right side. So most of, mostly the shadows will be on the left side. All the left sides you can give the dark color and all the right sides you can give some light color so that will give a better finishing. As I was mentioning multiple times, feel free to use your creativity on where to give shadows and lights. 
some logics there i will definitely cover a separate uh, youtube video to teach about the shadows and highlights for now whichever side you assume the light is opposite side you need to give some most of the time the shadows on the other side you can give the lights don't add too much of shadows that will make the drawing spoiled so try to give only wherever you require as for the eyes i'm just making small changes there to keep a little sad face or a serious face So once all the uh, dark sides or the shadows are done, then we can start the highlights. So for the dark side, I used almost 25 to 30 percent opacity. So for the same way, for the highlights, I use the white color with 25 to 30 percent opacity. It's all done. So I'm going to add uh, some backgrounds there. I'm just drawing one more outline around it. Then gonna add a color to it, and then reduce the opacity, and then add some Gaussian blur so that it becomes a little realistic kind of a shadow. And then I dragged a little towards the top right angle, on the top right side, so that it becomes like a shadow falling on the back. The same way for the floor also, an oval shape with a similar kind of opacity, and then a Gaussian blur to keep it look like a shadow. And then you can add a background. Background is up to your choice. And then going to add some white shades in the background so the caricature looks much more brighter. That's all, friends. So yeah, we come to the end of the artwork. If you like my artwork, please give a like, comment, and share. Meet you again in the next video. Bye.